for joining us. We are getting our first look today at body cam video of a fatal officer involved shooting that happened in Huntington. Police also released audio of the initial 911 call from back on July 3rd. This happened in the 400 block of 14th Street in Huntington. Andrew Colgrove has a look at what the video entails. This all started the afternoon of July 3rd when a man called 911 saying the suspect had threatened to shoot him and blow up a house. I have a young man telling me he got a gun and telling me to get away from him even though I own this. He's got a lighter. He's right underneath of my gas meter. Body camera video from the officer who responded shows the officer finding the suspect sitting behind a house. Hey, what's the problem? Up, let, me see, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. The officer tells the suspect, later identified as Ahmad Abdullah of Detroit, to show his hands, Abdullah does not comply. Take your hand out of your pocket. No, I won't. Right now. I, hey, listen, man. Start me a couple more units over here. He said he's got a gun and he's got his hand in his pocket and won't show me his hands. 43 seconds after the encounter began, the suspect is seen running at the officer. I ain't going anywhere. Hey, listen, I'm about to blow this. Hey, it's your call. Hey, look. Hey. Your call. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey. Shots fired. Get a mess over here. Abdullah, who is 25 years old, died at the hospital. That officer who fired the shots was placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. He has now been cleared to return to work. In a written statement, Huntington Police Chief Phil Watkins says they have to remember a family is mourning the loss of a loved one and they cannot help the healing process by suppressing the truth. He says they can only help by ensuring the truth is brought to light. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Huntington. Huntington police tell us they learned after the shooting that Abdullah did not, in fact, have a gun, despite his claims right there at the scene.